Hey there friends, today I want to talk about using ChatGPT or other apps as a creativity tool. I view it as having a brainstorming partner in your pocket and I've used it on past projects pretty successfully and now also repeatedly. Now there are various pieces of writing out there about how creative these large language models or generative AI generally is, but I'm not gonna go into that here because I'm more interested in really using it as a tool to basically remix writing. Also some other concerns about large language models don't apply here, like for example, I don't care if there's hallucinations in there, so wrong facts are being used, or if there are sources inappropriately cited, because none of that matters for this purpose here. This is just generating a bunch of ideas to then later pick from. So how do you do that? I'm gonna offer some points for you to think about based on my experience, and then I'm gonna go actually through one example. First of all, I think it's important to be on the same page about uh, what creativity really means. I mean, creativity doesn't mean creating things out of thin air, basically, but it always means connecting two or more pieces in new and interesting ways, and in particular in ways that haven't been done before, that lead to something useful and interesting. So the process I'm going to talk about is about just that. And this also means that asking ChatGPT to, for example, give me some new and interesting ideas about mycorrhizal ecology and about global change ecology, it will not work because there it doesn't really put things together. And while there will be output that reads well and you know, is generally okay output that is generated in response to such questions, that is unlikely to be really interesting. And um, because that model doesn't have the right domain language to come up with interesting things. And I think you can do better than that yourself. You don't need a language model for that. So what large language model do I use? I actually normally use Bing Chat in the creative version. Uh, so this is Chat GPT-4. Uh, but for the idea generation, I do not because I don't want the large language model to basically search the internet. I wanted to just remix text. And so for the purpose of idea generation, I actually use Chat GPT 3.5 without internet access and it's free. And you can use just any other app probably just as well. This is just what I've been using. And the main point is just basically for the app to remix text for you. Now, in my experience, this works best for um, larger concepts and ideas. So it doesn't work very well for, for very detailed points about your research area. Again, probably for specific reasons because it doesn't know what these things mean often. But it does work quite well for connecting larger ideas. One large idea, for example, could be global change. And the key for this method to work is, just like probably for brainstorming and, and, and other tools like this, is you have to have two or more of these concept that, concepts that you would like to connect ready. So this is the first step, come up with these two concepts. Uh, an example for a broad concept is, for example, global change biology or generative AI or environmental management. Now, since this is all about playing with language, make sure when you have picked these two concepts that you have written down the language to circumscribe these concepts. For example, if you've picked global change biology, uh, you may also want to try global environmental change, or you may also want to try, uh, for example, invasive species, elevated atmospheric CO2 concentrations, um, chemical pollution, light pollution, and so on and so forth. So enumerate by example. And you can basically write down a list for each of these terms that you would like to be connected so you can try them out. So this is all about the language that you use to describe these terms. And now once you have these ideas and lists of language to use, you just ask ChatGPT to link these two concepts. And the key is to generate a lot of output. So you say, please link these concepts and create a bulleted list of 20 such links, for example. And you may want to redo that several times. So I have it create 50 or 100 such links because, you know, this goes super fast and um, it doesn't make any difference if you wait for 20 or 40 of those. And the point is just to have a lot of output. And you can also repeat this as many times as you want because every time the output will be slightly different. And now here again, it doesn't matter if some of these things are right or wrong or if they make sense or don't make sense, if they're all interesting or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is just like in brainstorming to just have a lot 
of these creations out there. A lot of these links being made by the language model. Now, the vast majority of this output will be uninteresting. <laughs> so don't be surprised, like 95 or whatever percent of that output simply is not interesting, not applicable, is derivative, uh, self-evident, so there's actually nothing really exciting in there. But there are every once in a while these golden nuggets in these random outputs. And just like in real brainstorming, there is one phase where you generate lots of ideas and the second phase is a separate skill to recognize which ideas are actually worth pursuing further. And so exactly the same happens here. So you go through these long lists of generated output, most of which will be non-interesting, and your task is now to be basically inspired by some of this output where you think like, oh, I hadn't thought about that or that's something new or I have never heard about that. Um, I never considered this connection or this subtopic or something like that. And those are the ones you look for. So basically you, you toss everything else and then I just usually, I just copy the outputs that seem interesting and put them in another document, like a Google Doc or a Word document, and collect them there along with my own thoughts, for example. And now you can do that iteratively also, for example. So if um, the output has created one bullet point that you find particularly compelling, it's a really interesting new connection between these two terms, let's say, then you can ask, oh, this is an interesting point, please generate more output like this or with these two points in mind and again give me a bulleted list of 20 or 50 points and so you can you can you know iterate that as many times as you want as you have time and i think um, the more output you have the better because the more things you can pick from in the end and then of course finally just like in a real um, idea generation with people in in the end this goes back to the normal workflow so you correct collect all these ideas uh, you merge them with your own thoughts from literature reviews and things like that, and then you create your product, which will be a newsletter, a LinkedIn post, or a, a, a manuscript uh, for publication. So let's look at an example of how this might work. I'm in ChatGPT 3.5 now, and I've typed in, how could the more widespread use of generative AI models impact biodiversity? Come up with new and unusual links and make a list of 20. And so this is what it did and can look through. I mean, some of those points are quite nice. AI, AI enhanced conservation planning, invasive species detection, wildlife monitoring, bioacoustics research, biodiversity art, ecotourism, and so on and so forth. And, you know, then number 20 was AI generated biodiversity music, which I found kind of interesting. So collaborate with AI to generate music inspired by biodiversity data of connecting people emotionally to conservation efforts. I think this is a good idea. So that what you can do is, I'm interested in the point about AI generated biodiversity music. Can you come up with 20 ideas around this specifically? And then it does that. Comes up with eco symphonies, biodiversity soundscapes, collaborative species jam, eco musical games, bird song choirs and so on and so forth and you know museums meditation and then i thought you know, number 18 is kind of interesting biophilic workspaces design ai systems that generate calming biodiversity inspired music for offices enhancing well-being and fostering a connection to the natural world and you know then you can enter that and and build on on that particular output as well and so i think that gives you sort of a good impression on how you can do that iteratively. And of course, you can have um, the language model generate as many responses as you like, and you can regenerate them. They will be slightly different every time. And that gives you quite a lot of points to choose from. So I hope you found this useful. Happy creating. Please do let me know in the comments if you come up with something interesting and if you found this useful and also if you have suggestions for improvement. And with that, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.